I may end up doing a longer and more in-depth teaching on this when I return to the United States. But it came to me that day that sometimes we confuse prophetic accuracy with prophetic clarity. They may sound the same, but they're not quite the same. A lot of times, um, some people have greater clarity in their prophetic revelations, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're more accurate than someone else. I'll take a few minutes to explain. For example, in Numbers 12, let me see here, verses 6 through 8, the Lord said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision, and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses, if not so, who is faithful in all mine house, with him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And this similitude of the Lord shall he behold. So I'll stop right there. So the Lord spoke about revealing himself in a dream, or correction, a vision. Speaking in a dream. But it says with Moses, it was different. It says, with him will I speak mouth to mouth. Because there are times we can receive a revelation. And we know it's from the Lord. And other times we receive a revelation where we have to truly test the spirit to see where it came from. Whether it was from us, the enemy, or the Lord himself. When I say Lord himself, whether the Lord himself or one of his messengers, such as a holy angel. And we have to discern. And we may not realize that the Lord had spoken until something actually came to pass. But with Moses, it says, he speaks to them mouth to mouth. So that, that, that contributes to clarity, in addition to accuracy. And it says, even apparently, and not in dark speeches, that's also the thing. There are times when people have a dream or a vision, and it is very symbolic. In Genesis 41, the Pharaoh had two dreams. They were very symbolic. In Genesis 40, the cupbearer and the baker, they had dreams. Those things were symbolic. They were accurate, but not very clear. So they required an interpretation. And the Lord used Joseph to provide clarity. In the life of Abram, later renamed Abraham, he received some revelations from the Lord. And because they're from the Lord, they were accurate, but they were not very clear. Clarity, meaning, for example, how, who, where, why, when. Some of the finer details. In Genesis 12, the Lord told Abram that he was going to make him the father of nations. That was a prophecy. It was accurate but not very clear. For example, the Lord didn't tell him when. It took 24 years for the Lord to finally let him know in Genesis 17, some of the details. But before that, there are some things the Lord gave, some clarifying points. But looking down at the dust, if you can number them. I had to pause to let those motorcycles go by. So the Lord told um, Abram to look out the dust, and if he can number them, so shall his offspring be. Look up at the stars, if he can number them, so shall his offspring be. Again, the information was accurate. The Lord's given more clarity, but information was still missing. In Genesis 15, the Lord told Abram that he would give him a son, and it would be from his own loins. It was accurate, but it was missing some clarity. Because in Genesis 16, Abraham listened to his wife Sarai, slept with Hagar, and conceived Ishmael. It may seem as if it was the fulfillment of the word of the Lord. It was accurate, but not very clear. But then came Genesis 17. The Lord gave Abraham, then renamed Abraham, clarity to match the accuracy that he had so far. Again, it was accurate because it was from the Lord but it still lacked clarity. Also, this shows that when a prophecy is nearing its, fulfill its fulfillment, that more than likely is when the Lord is going to give you increased clarity. Now, some people may be able to see things from a distance, if you will. Isaiah is called the eagle-eyed prophet. There are things that he prophesied hundreds of years in advance. 
for example, knowing the name of Cyrus because the Lord revealed it to him. Those things are a combination of clarity and accuracy. So in Genesis 17, the Lord told Abraham he was going to bless him with a son and that the son would be born within a year and that Sarah, his wife, would be the mother of the child. Prayerfully, you're getting the message regarding accuracy versus clarity. Everything Abraham had received from the Lord during the previous 24 years, they were accurate, but not very clear. But on the 24th year, the Lord gave him the continued accuracy, but also greater clarity. So if someone were to come along and try to get Abraham to sleep with another woman, to conceive his child, because he had the clarity, he'd be like, uh-oh, I'm not falling for that again. So again, there's a distinction between prophetic clarity and accuracy. And I'll share a personal example, and not that it was prophetic, but I went swimming the other day, and I had my, my phone in a sealed pouch, so I could use it for underwater photography and videography. Now, when I dove into the water, with my eyes, what I was seeing was accurate, but it wasn't very clear. Now for the phone, I think the phone, the phone was seeing the same thing I was seeing, but also one of the things that affected the clarity of what I was seeing were, were my eyes, my brain, how I process information. And as I get older, or as we all get older, our vision tends to decline. The phone uses a different system or different mechanisms of seeing. So what I saw with my eyes and what the phone picked up were slightly different. Both were accurate, but with the phone, it had greater clarity. So when I stuck my head under water, what I was seeing was accurate, but it wasn't very clear. So I pray that this short message helps you to discern or maybe dig a little bit deeper and not to confuse prophetic accuracy with prophetic clarity. And just in case, You've been receiving some prophetic revelations from the Lord. And then now it has reached a point where he's giving you more clarity. That's usually one of the signs that what he has been saying to you. Now he's about to bring those things to pass. God bless you. And Jesus the Christ is Lord.